This is pre-release weekend here at East Coast EDH. This is Jeremy, and we're going to do our Theros box opening. This is going to be my first official box opening video on the channel. Uh, bear with me. I think I got the lighting right. Uh, we're going to see some cool cards. Open a lot of packs. We do have our MTG Tib Bap pack. Um, we'll explain the card underneath it in a little bit when we get there. So let's uh, get this box opened up. And see what we got. Got Elspeth on the top there. Have her face covered. I think there's a meaning behind that. Something story-wise? Who knows? Let's see. Ooh. This one's being difficult. There we go. Um, whoop guy and sick headed dog. It's a big, that's a big dog. None of them seem very happy to be in there. Let's uh, let's get them out. That one's trying to get away. We're going to open that one first. All right. There we go. We got our packs. Let's dig in. Let's see if we got any pull tabs. We do. Perfect. Make this a, a little bit easier. So we got our first goat token first full art land i think these are cool i know everyone thinks they're pokemon cards but and we got a temple of deceit for our first rare take it and gary wow okay decent pack ferris breed brawler fights up to a creature the enters tapped mixed token and, of course, our comments, which really I don't think we're too interested in here today. Hoping there's some big, cool, rare pulls. Some nice foils. Cool-looking full art lands. Human soldier tokens. Always, always fun. Full art forest. Foil mythic. Thassa Deep. Dwelling. That was quick. Um, wow. That is some very cool looking foiling. Pay a blue, three colorless, tap another creature. Very cool. Galia, our our first, I think, preview card that we got. Whenever I attack with three or more creatures, discard a card, draw some cards. Sweet. Demigods. His toughness is equal to your devotion to black. Okay. Hateful Eidolon. Here's some talk about that guy. And a Hop Light. When he enters the battlefield, create a number of soldiers equal to your devotion. That seems okay. And, oh, Unknown Shores is back. Very, very, very cool, I guess. For cheap color fixing. That first foil mythic, man. Whew, daddy. I am very, very stoked about that wow cool different different tokens so far three packs three tokens full art island everyone's going to be loving those another foil when he dies minus one minus one and phoenix of ash phoenixes seem to be pretty good lately uh flying haste 2 -oh, can escape it um he escapes with a plus one plus one counter okay clothes design Plus X, plus X until end of turn where X is your devotion. Whew. It's a big casting cost, but green's usually got some trample, so that seems okay. Hydra's growth. Uh, plus one, plus one counter on enchanted creature. At the beginning of your upkeep, double. Wow. Very cool. I like it. I like it. I do like the enchantment borders in this set. Always have. Just cool. Kind of breaks it up. Nope. Oh, almost knocked the camera down there. Man, every time, try and open it old school style, and that's why the pool tabs are there, bud. F nice wall token. <sighs> look at that, look at that. One of each land so far, that's cool. Mantle of the Wolf. Enchanted creature gets plus four, plus four. Uh, when it's put in the graveyard, for the battlefield creep. Two wolves, all right. Cool if you're doubling tokens. Staggering Insight. Whenever it deals damage to the player, draw a card. Cool. 
Let me guess. Constellation. When an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, top three cards. Land. Yep. Figured. Underworld Dreams. Wow. That's cool. I still like the original Legends one, but very cool reprint, I think. I just like old school magic. Throw a possibility. Come on. Got to reprint that. Traveler's Amulet. See so, ya. Yeah. Common slot. Bronze sword. It's a lot of a lot of stuff he's seen. Needed to round the set out, I suppose. That drafting and keep standard alive, right? All right. Ooh, what do we got here? That's weird. Um, no table required on the arena. Oh, oh, sneaking out. Another full up. Oh, no swamps yet, huh? Treacherous blessing. Let's enter the battlefield. Draw three cards. Whenever you cast a spell, you lose a life. When it becomes a target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. Um, hmm. Interesting. Devourer of Memory. Whenever one or more cards are put in the graveyard from my library, it's plus one, plus one until end of turn and cannot be blocked. And you can put cards in your graveyard. Well, you can see that being okay. Sage of Mysteries. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Weird. Goes where they're rare. I like it. Some synergy. Synergy is good. Make some satyrs, glory bearers. Remember back in the day, they used to uh, just hide, hide the uh, foil cards in the packs. So you just had to go through every single card just to make sure you didn't miss your foil. Gold, gold token. Very cool. I'm getting a lot of different tokens here. I just keep almost knocking this camera over. Still no swamps. Is swamp the hardest full art land to get? Got another foil. More foils than we got full art swamps. When this enters the battlefield, target creature you control gets plus X plus O, where X is your devotion. Devotion is back, folks. And we got the bronze hide lion. Indestructible for a green white until end of turn. If this lion does die, comes back as an aura with enchanted creature you control tap a green white and it gains indestructible and loses all abilities until end of turn hmm seems okay careless oh boy celebrant Ooh. I don't know if she's partying or attacking or just a little bit of both look at that the mace is coming right at your face now when this dies it deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls interesting chariot first strike trample haste crew one okay Wings of Hubris. That's not the uncommon. Dawn Evangel. Whenever a creature dies, if an aura you control is attached to it, return that creature card with converted mana cost to your list from your graveyard to your hand. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So I guess we're going to see a lot of, uh, a lot of enchantments back in play, huh, guys? Go figure. Theros enchantment decks. I think this is our first token double, and we're going to stop talking. And our swamp. There we go. Finally got one. Like I said, I dig these I dig these lands. Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. Tap, tap, two colorless for artifacts. Crypt creatures you control, flying and haste. Wow. That's, that's sweet. Destiny Spinner. Creatures and enchantment spells you control cannot be countered. Wow. And you can make your lands giant creatures based on your enchantments. There are some very uh, decent uncommon so far, I think, in this set. All right. Keep cracking. I'm talking away here. My first video, and it's going to take me an hour to get through these packs. So we got our token. We got our land. Thrix, the Sudden Storm. Flash Flying. Spells you cost with converted mana cast five or greater, cost one less to cast, and cannot be countered. Very cool in blue. I like it. I like omniscience and commander. Um, uncommon. Acolyte of Affliction enters the battlefield. Put the top two cards of your library in your graveyard. And turn a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Graveyards are back, guys. Mirror shield. Raska coming for you. Whenever a creature with death charge blocks or becomes blocked by this creature, destroy it. Cool. Very cool. A lot of bestow. 
Oh, that was a cool common. It's a white, colorless. Aura spells cost one less to cast if that creature's in play. That seems cool to me. I like it. Ah, now we're getting swamps. Thassa's Intervention. Look at the top X cards of your library. Put the, up to two of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom in any order. Counter target spell. Unless controller plays X twice. Like it. Dream Spear Shaman. May pay a red and two colors. Sacrifice an land permanent. If you do, reveal cards from the top of your library and two reveal a non land permanent card. Put the rest onto the battlefield and the rest on the. Put that card in the battlefield and the rest on the bottom in any order. Tell you what, these uncommon lands uh, seems very cool. Whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, you get an additional green for a green and colorless. I like it. When this creature deals combat damage, to make a 1 1 soldier. Yeah, uncommon slot seems very strong. Portent of Betrayal. A little more expensive act of treason. Get the scry. Okay. Spider Island. Making a mess here. Tar Anika, a Crowan veteran. Vigilance for three. When it attacks and tap another target creature you control. That creature gets base power 4-4 four, four and gains indestructible. Dig it. One with the stars. It's going to be an interesting one. Um, enchanted permanent is an enchantment and loses all other card types. It still has its abilities, but it's no longer a creature. Does it mean it can't attack? That one kind of... Uh, I don't know. I think that's gonna, that caused me a little confusion. I have to wait and see what the, uh, the rule makers say about that one, but... I think it just becomes an enchantment and can no longer do anything. Reflection. That's some. Um, wow. It's kind of depressing looking. Okay, I'm not looking too happy. Shadow Spear. Great, great card here. Um, permanence. Your opponent's control. Loose Hexproof. Indestructible. For one. Oh, yeah. Your creature gets plus one, plus one trample and lifelink. Why not? Mystic Repeal. Not bad. Not bad. Cool if they brought back some waste at some point. Some of this new full art stuff, I think. I'm building a colorless deck at the moment. Only reason I thought that. Commanding Presence. Foil. Plus two, plus two. When it attacks, make a soldier. I like it. Heliod's Intervention. Yeah, very cool. Um, could be a little more powerful than Return to Dust. Doesn't exile, but depending where you are in the game, how much mana you're making, a lot more powerful. And you just use it to gain life. Drag to the Underworld. X less the cast, where X is your devotion to black. Destroy target creature. That's pretty good. Enemy of Enlightenment. Minus one, minus one for each card. Wow. Um, I guess. I don't know. Get that out once our hands are empty. And just a giant colossus. Kind of like they put the uh, the commons in the back. That's a cool looking zombie. On uh, some of these sets. Just really, you don't, you don't want to go through them all a hundred times once you're through these boxes. Temple of Plenty. Friendly Scryland. Calliope, beloved of the sea. Power is equal to your devotion blue. Creature and enchantments you control have. Spells your opponents cast to target it. Costs one more to cast. Not bad. Impending doom. Force the creature to attack. When it dies, throw damage to the controller. Target creature you control gets plus two, plus one to one turn. Each other creature. Okay. Ah, we lost it. We lost it. Into the abyss. Another island. Always good to see those fuller islands. Those ones are usually the most valuable. Arasta of the end Endless Web. Reach. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, make a spider token. Always good in green. To protect yourself with a little bit of reach. Ah, I think this is our first prophecy. 
in this box, and I thought there was a few in the set. Scry 2, choose a name on a card. When you cast a spell that shows a name for the first time, draw two cards. Look at the card, the top card of each player's library. Interesting. Triton Ragehound. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully get a couple more of these uh, sagas. I mean, there should be enough out. I was watching on a couple of their podcasts this morning to uh, actually do like some saga decks. And we got another one. Erebos, the black-hearted. Indestructible. Devotion to black is less than five, not a creature. When another creature you control dies, pays you life. If you do, draw a card. Sacrifice another creature. Target creature gets minus two, minus one. You can see that putting a little bit of work in. Entrancing Liar. Choose not to untap it. You can tap target creature. Power X or less. And that does not untap as long as the liar is tapped. Sacrifice Field of Ruin. Destroy target non-basic land. Oh, yeah. Reprint. Duh. Another Colossus. Token. I like that they're all full arts. That's very cool. Some value there. Gravebacker Lamia. Lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard. That's cool. Suppose you cast from your graveyard, one less to cast. Not bad. Five CMC is a little high, but doable. Definitely doable. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Return target or a card from your graveyard to the battlefield. One or both for five. Doable. White and black. Could happen. This, back in the day, they had the little red tape on the pull tabs. Uh, let's go all the way around. Comes right off. Tentacle token, first one. Island. Makes a tent. Ooh. Foil. Foil full art. That is cool. Swamp. That is nice looking. And we got Thassa's Oracle. Um, apparently the CEDH community. Scared about this one. Uh, when it enters the battlefield... Look at the top X cards of your library, where X is your devotion to blue. Put up to one of them on the top of your library, the rest on the bottom of your library, in a random order. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. Uh, lab man, Jace. Um, thing is, this happens, it's an ETB, so once it enters, once it dies, this is still in the stack, the ability. So that could be a little scary. And we got our next saga... Thunder turn, target creature gains trample and gets plus X plus O, where X is the number of lore counters on Triumph of Annex. One, two, three, target creature you control fights up to one target creature you don't control. The art on these is, I dig it, very cool art. Creatures you control get plus X plus turn, or X is your devotion. Green's just, ugh, this never ends every set. It seems like they're just like, you know what? Let's make green even stronger than it was the last time. I mean, I guess in the last set, what, three cards got banned? They were green, so I guess you got to keep, uh, keep them coming out. Ooh, whoops, whoops. Foil, wow, foil rare and a foil mythic. Oh my god. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their, wow. That is a f huge hit. And I believe there's a mythic. Nihilia. Keen-eyed. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to green is less than five, it isn't a creature. Creature spells you cast are one less to cast. Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it in your hand. Otherwise, you may put it into your graveyard. We are getting some big hits in this box. Wow. Gain life for your devotion to green. That's pretty cool. Inevitable end. The beginning of your upkeep sacrifice. Wow. Ooh. Jeez. Put this on the best one, I guess, huh? I just cannot believe. Um, we're going to go through what uh, what we got there at the top. Wow. Perfect open. First time. This is quite the box opening here. And we have a rare saga. There we go. Timerit calls the dead. Put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Then you may exile a creature card or enchantment card from your graveyard. If you do, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. 
You gain X life, and scry X, where X is the number of something. Wow. That could be powerful in the right deck. Like any card, I guess, right? Warden of the Chained. Can attack unless you can control another creature with power 4 or greater. <laughs> and the Birth of Melatis. Search your library for a basic planes card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, and then shuffle your library. Create an 04 wall, the defender, you gain 2 life. Eh, eh, that's not that great. Giant Cyclops. I think I like that better than the Birth. Like, if that planes came into play, it'd be a lot cooler. Or if you look for any land card, not just the basic planes. But white, white's got to be white, right? Some nice islands. Nylia's Intervention. Another intervention here. Intervention Cycles. Choose one. Search your library for X land cards. Reveal them. Put them into your hand. Shuffle your library. Like this one. Guess any land. Doesn't have to be a forest. Or you can just wipe the board of flying creatures. Way more powerful. It's a rare. That's an un uncommon. Banishing Light. When it enters the battlefield, exile target on land permanent and opponent controls until this leaves. Always good. Soul Guide Lantern. So there's been a lot of uh, graveyard love in this, in this set so far. Here's the hate. You can exile a target card when this enters, or just get rid of all your opponent's graveyards. This could see some big time play. There we go. Ooh, Nightmare Token. Ashiok. Maybe there's an Ashiok in here. That would be cool, right? Planes. Archon of Sun... Archon of Sun's Grace. Sorry, misspoke there. Flying lifelink. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield, make a Pegasus token. Seems pretty good. Not bad. Put this with the rares. Uh, Mischievous Chimera. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, one damage to each opponent, you get to scry one. Okay. Sea God Storm. I'm going to read this one. I like like the name. The art's pretty cool. Return it to three target creatures and or enchantments in order's hands. That can be a lot more powerful than you would think, but for six CMC, that's very high for only three targets. In the commander format, there's many cards that same CMC that can wipe one person's board of creatures, not enchantments, or all creatures from all players' boards. Another foil. I like it. Sleep of the... Oh, wow. Tap target creature does not untap during its controller's next untap step. And you can escape it. And how these are taking a nap. Underworld Breach. Each non-land card in your graveyard has escape. The escape cost is equal to the card's mana cost, plus three other cards from your graveyard need to be exiled. At the beginning of your end step, sacrifice Underworld Breach. That could be very cool. There we go. Some nice alternate art here. Rotina's power is equal to your devotion to green. Each other creature you control enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Demigod. Dig it. This is going to go in the cool card pile. The Binding of the Titans. Each player puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Exile up to two target cards from graveyards. For each creature card, exile this while you gain a life. Return target creature or land card from your graveyard to your hand. Cool, 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 cool. Um, we're a little past halfway in the video. So we're going to get to that silver barcode. 8,144,16. Um, no, that's a B. B billion. So this was supposed to be in there. Foil Swamp. Apparently it's not. Be cool. Maybe they screwed up and I got the lucky one. But let's see what we pull out of our mystery box topper rule card pack. ETA. Here we go. Foil. Ethrios Shroud Veiled. Wow. Uh, as long as your devotion to white and black is less than seven, you sound a creature. At the beginning of your end step, put a coin counter on target creature. Whenever a creature with a coin counter on it dies or is put in exile, return that card to the battlefield under your control. And a regular swamp. So I was supposed to get a swamp. I got a swamp. Works. Two foil swamps. Some sort of rules. 13 plus. Oh boy, I shouldn't be doing this. Um, let's keep rolling here. <laughs> the mythic foils that I've gotten so far. Um, 
Wow. That's amazing. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling, Forrest. Whoa, Strider. Whoa, was me. It's another foil. Getting greedy. When he enters the battlefield, create a 0 1 goat. Sacrifice creature. Scry 1. You can escape it. Escape to the plus 1 plus 1 counter. Escape seems cool, but uh, expensive. At the beginning of your upkeep, return up to one target enchantment. You control it to what's on his hand. That could be pretty good. When you recast a spell, let me tap. And we're moving on. Moving on. Um, second pile. Last pack. Human soldier. Planes. Foil. Another foil. Impending doom. We read this earlier. It's foil. This one's better. Worth $1,000. Kiora beats the sea god. Mythic saga. Create an 8-8 blue kraken creature token with hexproof. Tap all non-land permanents. Opponents control. They do not untap. Oh, target opponent. Not just all of them. One of them. Ugh, feels bad. They don't untap. Gain control of target permanent and opponent controls. Untap it. Feels real bad. Utropia, the twice favored. Whenever enchantment enters the battlefield under control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. That guy or girl gains flying until end of turn. Seems okay, for sure. For sure, I'll take that. A little flying, a little counter. Get some cool cards out. Uh, creature with the counters can do some very cool things. Sometimes they just make mana. Sometimes they just die. Sometimes they win you in the game. Planes. Another foil. Wow. Foil uncommon. Sionia, captain of the pie. She can captain me anywhere, that's for sure. Um, when she enters the battlefield, look at the top seven cards of your library. You may reveal an aura card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom in a random order. When aura you control becomes attached to a creature you control, make a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Seems strong. Storm Herald are rare. Haste. When he enters, return any number of auras from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to any creatures you control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step. If they would leave play, exile them instead of putting them anywhere else. Weird and red. Ooh, a regular one. Just if you wanted to see the regular art, which is Chris Ralph. Great job, Chris. Chris Rallis. Thank you for that. Binding the Titans. We know what you do. I saw you. Checking that thing. Human soldier. Forest. Oh my god, I got two. Uh, Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Yeah, non foil. Addition. Wow. Big hit. Archon of the Falling Stars. When this guy dies, you may return target enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Favorite of Iros. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, gains double strike. Seems okay. Feel the ruin. What do we got here? Hold on, hold on. Slow your roll. Your devotion to each color in each combination of colors is increased by one. Add one man of any color. If you control a god, a demigod, or a legendary enchantment, you gain a life. Okay, not bad. Cool for a common. Make some mana. Pick some devotion. Turn your gods on. Giggity. What? Oh, stole that one from uh, Mr. Investments. Sorry. Seder. There we go. Apologize. Mountain. Full art. Nyx Lotus. I think this is cool. Enters the battlefield tapped. Choose a color. Add an amount of mana of that color to your devotion to that color. I think it's cool. It sucks if your board gets wiped after you cast this. And this makes no mana. So, could be bad. But fun to play in Commander, I think. Heliod's Punishment. Poor guy. Enchant creature. The punishment enters the battlefield with four task counters on it. Can't attack or block. Lose all abilities it has. Tap, remove a task counter. Then there's no task counters on it. Destroy who gets, uh punishment. Uh, proliferate. Seems good. I mean, there's other cards you can play that just don't have counters, but... If you're playing an enchantment deck, you need to cast enchantments. Why not? Island. Foil. Discard a card, draw a card. Foiling this set is very, very nice. Another god. God box. Perforos. Bronze blooded. Indestructible. Devotion lead. Red. It's five. Not a creature. Other creatures you can draw of haste. 
You may put a red creature card or artifact creature from your hand on the battlefield. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. That seems strong. I like it. Slaughter, Priest of Mogus. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Sacrifice another creature or an enchantment, he gains first strike. Hmm. Okay. Daxos, Blast by the Sun. Now, I don't know if these guys come in regular art and this alternate art. Um, this alternate art is very cool. Imagine this in foil. <sighs> Toughness is equal to your devotion to white. Whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, you gain life. Going in the cool pile. And we are working through these packs at, um, let's hit a regular pace. Definitely not lightning speed, that's for sure. <laughs> Join this a little bit. Another swamp. Protean Thermaturge. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Protean Thaumaturge become a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. A blue colorless human wizard? Shouldn't that be like a, a doppelganger or something? But Okay. Triumph. We know what you do. Kraken. Oh, Krakens are fun. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Okay. Elspeth's Nightmare. Wow, that is some crazy art. Destroy target creature an opponent controls a power to less. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card. From it, that player discards a card. Exile, target, opponent's graveyard. Graveyard hate. There it is. Just some more. I think you're going to need it. Graveyards are big, but they seem like they can be removed a couple different ways here. Another swamp. Cool. Wow, I think I just got every single hit out of the set in the Mythic slot today. Trample, if you tap a permanent for mana, it produces three times as much of that mana instead. Nyx, Bloom, Ancient, Elvish Piper, boom, comes out. Yeah, wait, we're going back. That's, uh, I mean, four for seven, yeah. But in green, you should be able to get this out, like, turn four, if not sooner. Unreal. Unreal. Wizards, Heroes, The Birth of Melities, Lionfish, Flames, Pile Fix, next. No, nope, couldn't open that one all the way. I think we got another island. Oh, I was right. Allure of the Unknown. That would be a cool play, Matt. Hope I can get that. That'd be, I hope they make that one. Reveal the top six cards of your library. An opponent exiles a non-land card from among them. Then you put the rest into your hand. That opponent may cast the exiled card. Oh, wow. Could be bad. Depending. But you get the rest. That's that's powerful. Banishing Light. Destiny Spinner. Fires. Glory. Huh? Nope. Glory Bearers. And we are... Tugging later on. Right, right along here. I think the zombie token is the coolest token in the set. It was Max. They kind of creep, creep me out. I'm going to have nightmares. Full art forest. Another foily. Elite instructor. Fireball. When elite instructor enters the battlefield, draw a card. Then it's card a card. It's like Chun Li. Street Fighter. Just throwing fireballs around. Cetessian champion. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, Put a plus one, plus one counter on the champion and draw a card. And the hits keep coming and coming and coming and coming. Your Tropia. Blood Aspirant. Agonizing Remorse. And we move on. I'll tell you what. I'm not remorseful about this box at all. If I could get two like this, man. Oh, unreal. Fixing my lands. It's, it's like it's like I'm finding some proxy lands. I'm just throwing them in a pile here. It's a mess. Ephemia, the Cacophony. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard. If you do, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. Flying. I wonder if there's a card that makes all the cards in your graveyard enchantments. Calliope, beloved of the sea. We know what you do. Did I just put that rare in that common pile? Uncommon pile? Oh, this video. Oh, I'm just so like overwhelmed with the amount of pulls I got. Like I'm just losing it, like becoming a mess, almost a train wreck. But. Hope you guys are enjoying I'm having a great time, let me tell you. Eidolon of Obstruction. First strike. Loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers your opponents control are one more to activate. 
that could be very cool because like generally people are playing their planeswalkers and like oh i don't have to pay any mana yeah you do you're not just gonna plus one that guy or girl and get value you're paying for it tax man cometh all right we got two packs left two left any more hits left in this box i mean i don't know if there is i just i'd be very very surprised but i will take anything and another mythic why not uh polyukranos unchained enters the battlefield with six plus one plus one counters on it it escapes with 12 plus one plus one counters on it instead if damage would be dealt to polyukranos while a plus one plus one counter is on it prevent the damage and remove that many plus one plus one counters from it instead make it fight another creature and escape exile six other cards from your graveyard um yeah green black graveyards they uh they like that kind of stuff all right so we got i think i think we are tapped out of mythics i don't know this box has been just absolutely out of control what do you got wolf what are you gonna give me yeah another swamp and the final card being dream trawler two two white two blue flying life link when you draw a card gets plus one plus one until on the turn when you tax draw a card discard a card gain text proof until on the turn tap it all right like probably like the least cool rare i got out of the entire box everything else like great power equal to your devotion to green when another creature enters the battlefield gets a plus one plus one counter oh cool another saga that was cool scry two choose a card name yeah we already saw that one still saga cool leave me alone all right <laughs> so let's go through our foils in very cool mythics and rares um that we got today we just saw you saw you triple mana <laughs> can't wait to play this card daxos um i just like alternate art so we got how many gods do we get we got perforos we got athreos that's why. Okay, alternate art. That's why I didn't recognize it. Nylia. Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Just very, very cool. Great value. Foil. Full art lands. Erebos. And Thassa. Can't say it's a full god box, but I got blue, green, black, red, and white, black. I mean, yeah. So... I think there's a lot of value to be having this set hope you all enjoy it i wish you all good luck um this pre-release weekend and have a nice day this is jeremy signing off